is feet at the same level, and so you just punch straight with your feet in a neutral position. Orthodox is left foot forward, so that's where the jab cross comes in. Left hand will be that same left foot, and the cross is coming across the body, since that foot is behind, so it'll be jab cross. The south ball, that's right foot forward, so the jab cross will change, so it'll be jab with the right hand and cross with the left. So Master Jasmine, how did I go? Good you did! A boxing Jedi, I consider you, yes. Mm. So looking at these two results tables from our pre and post test, we can see that Gemma has improved across all of the key training points. Her major improvements occurred in maintaining the defensive stance during all the movements, however this could still be improved in the jab cross as she tended to drop one hand during the punch. The major thing that Gemma still needs to work on is her balance and her roundhouse kick. Once she has her balance, she'll be able to get more strength and more accuracy in the kick. I designed this program to be part practice, as the skill is high in complexity but low in organisation. How did that work for you, my young apprentice? Yeah, really well. I felt that I could concentrate on one aspect of the whole routine at a time and I found it easier to sort of focus my attention on each aspect and then I can worry about joining them together later.
so young apprentice, I included me mental practice in this skill as, as the early stages of learning in a skill is very cognitive. I found it really helpful in the later weeks as by then I knew how the skills should look and how they should feel as well. So mental practice became really important. So we started off with blocked practice so that my apprentice could have a chance to learn each skill properly. We then moved on to random practice later in the program, which helped to make sure that I actually thought about what I was doing rather than just doing things on autopilot. I found the use of demonstrations and feedbacks really important throughout the program so that I knew that I was doing the movements correctly. Because of our lack of quantitative data, that was the easiest way to measure how well I was doing. We had a problem with finding time to train. We struggled to find time that we were both free and had to cut most of our training short. Also relying on qualitative data was difficult. So as a consideration for next time, we could perhaps look at doing a more technically based skill or even looking into technology that could quantitatively measure our results, like measuring the force of my punches and kicks. <laughs>